Over the weekend, Amy Klobuchar announced that she is running for president in 2020. And really, I think that the general response from the left was a collective meh. Because I personally, I don't know anyone who actually knows who Amy Klobuchar is. And for the individuals that I know who know who she is, they just don't care. We all just don't care. She's just kind of a milk toast, boring, neoliberal centrist. And she's not putting forward an agenda that's exciting to anyone. Now, of course, she's taking some cues from the progressive left and refusing to take corporate PAC money, which is good. But I mean, by and large, she's not an exciting candidate. She is a centrist, she's against Medicare for all, and really the only people who are truly excited is her colleagues in the Senate who are Republicans. So nobody really cares about Amy Klobuchar, but Donald Trump, in proving yet again that he really is his own worst enemy, he tweeted about her by saying this, Well, it happened again. Amy Klobuchar announced that she's running for president talking proudly of fighting global warming while standing in a virtual blizzard of snow, ice, and freezing temperatures. Bad timing. By the end of her speech, she looked like a snowman. Woman. That was just so idiotic. He's telling on himself because what he's trying to do is he, he's thinking that he's getting her. You talk about global warming, but it's snowing. Ho ho ho. Aren't I clever? No, dummy. There's a difference between weather and climate. A real fundamental difference. Weather is what's happening now. Climate is weather patterns over an extended period of time. We're talking decades. And furthermore, when scientists warned us about all of the consequences that would come to fruition as a result of climate change, one of the consequences they warned us about was extreme weather patterns on both sides of the spectrum, extreme hots and extreme colds. And we're seeing that right now. So regardless if you want to believe it or not, Donald Trump, global warming is a thing. And thinking that you're owning her and getting her by basically trying to make it seem as if global warming is a joke because it's snowing, it's equally as stupid as Jim Inhofe trying to disprove climate change by bringing a snowball to the floor of Congress. It's just moronic. But he doesn't see that as moronic. He thinks that he's being clever and he's getting her. But what you just did was you put liberals who were apathetic about Amy Klobuchar like myself in this position to where we have to not only defend her, but point out your stupidity and how you face planted. So what you just did, Trump, you moron, is you handed Amy Klobuchar a gigantic gift because this puts her in really the perfect position, the ideal situation for a candidate who may ultimately be your opponent. You attack her right out of the gate, lending credence to the claim that maybe you're scared and that she's a legitimate candidate, and you open the door to basically an ass whooping because what you said was so stupid. And what Amy Klobuchar, a milquetoast, boring neoliberal centrist, did in response was give Donald Trump the ass whooping that he deserved. So she responded saying, Science is on my side, Donald Trump. Looking forward to debating you about climate change and many other issues. And I wonder how your hair would fare in a blizzard. <laughs> <laughs> How's it taste, motherfucker? Look, I'm, I'm really just ambivalent when it comes to Amy Klobuchar, but you've got to give her credit where it's due. That line about his hair. <laughs> My hat goes off. See, this is why Donald Trump is such a moron. He just gave her this gift. Because usually what these Democratic Party candidates do, like Elizabeth Warren, is they have to respond to every single attack that Donald Trump does. And typically they just face plant because it's difficult to basically compete with Donald Trump on his own terms and play his game. But what Trump did here is he played their game. For the first time, he got on their level, and then she used this as a fundraising opportunity. I mean, to say that this tweet backfired would be an understatement. Donald Trump just got his ass handed to him by the most boring, milk toast neoliberal Democrat. And look, Donald Trump, as you know, the Democratic Party primaries go on, he is going to feel more inclined to speak out.
because he's going to see these candidates increasingly as a threat and he's going to want to start preemptively attacking them. But what he's going to do is things like this, because Donald Trump, at his core, is an idiot. He is a moron. So he thought that he had this opportunity to attack her because she was talking about global warming in the snow. But no, you just opened the door to an ass whooping Donald Trump. So, I mean, if you're going to criticize her, then there are substantive reasons to criticize her. If you're Donald Trump, I don't know what those reasons would be because you can criticize her from the left. But in terms of criticizing her from the right, since Republicans even like her and she's kind of this individual who always reaches across the aisle, I think Republicans are going to have a difficult time criticizing Amy Klobuchar. One, because she's just an inoffensive person and really she's not a threat. But when you are going to criticize her, if you do things like this, Donald Trump, it's just not going to pan out in your favor. So, um, wow, what a moron. <laughs> Girly Mike Fettuccini needs your support on Patreon. What a loser. Visit patreon.com slash humanist report to support the low ratings humanist report. Sad. My views are much higher.